do I just put that in there? Yep, straight in. Okay. Straight in. And they literally just go round you. Oh, and another. That's how it is here, I guess. Our guide yesterday was like, literally, no one will stop you. you just walk out and they'll avoid you. Don't try and avoid them because you'll get here. They will avoid you. First stop today. Laundry. A lot of these laundry places are just cafes. Errands done for the day. Feeling very confused. A two hour laundry service. Yeah, we just got way undercharged and we were like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, 100, 100. We she like, checked it. No, I think, I don't know. Basically, it's it was cheaper to wait, have it for two hours than it would be to pick it up in 24 hours or four hours. Yeah, and it was a little like bit bad. three quid for five kilograms. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe we'll give her a tip when we pick it up. I think right, we now we're off to find the cafe that first started egg coffee. I know, egg coffee, it sounds weird, but it's a thing here in Vietnam and we are going to go and experience it for ourselves right now. I like eggs and I like coffee but I don't think mm, I'm going to like them mixture, together. I don't know. Don't worry, the street's closed. We didn't risk our life for a time lapse yet. <laughs> My grandmother. Wow. Yeah, but my grand, um, grandfather is, um, died like a long ago. He's the one who made the coffee. coffee. Wow. A hot egg coffee and an iced egg coffee. I just saw how they make it. It doesn't look like the eggs are cooked. There's a little flame underneath here that's heating up the hot one, but then the cold one's just like raw egg. So I'm a bit nervous. I was just chatting to the lady downstairs. The next door is actually where they first started making it, but that's closed today. So we've come here. She's saying that the reviews for like the taste here is much better, um, and that her grandfather actually um, started this whole company. There's five different ones around Hanoi. Um, and like the one across the road is her grandfather's brother and it's all like a family business so this is 80 years old this one so i'm gonna give it a go shall i mix i assume i mix yes yeah, stir it reg, isn't it oh oh my god that's thick Whoa. where's the coffee at <laughs> jeez a tiny bit at the top i didn't expect that but it's all just egg so it's really thick it? let me just i'm gonna keep mixing it for a bit <laughs> they're nice and mixed now <laughs> it's not looking any less eggy should I sip it or spoon it in? No, just sip it. Take a nice big gulp. Oh, I'm really nervous. We just taste of raw egg. This just smells of cake mix. Nice. It's basically it's just cake mix. It's like coffee, coffee cake. Coffee cake mix. I might love it. It's nice. Is it? It tastes of a nice coffee. Really? 
but when they're making this one obviously the ice is nice a little bit and i think there's more coffee and like wet ingredients in this one this one is a tiny bit of coffee and there's loads of egg okay let me try this one if you've been watching the channel for more than two videos <laughs> you will know that coffee is a big part of our lives i don't even think you need to have watched two videos it. so this is a big moment for me because i was really hoping i like it you know it matches your t-shirt perfectly Ooh. pretty good it's so thick isn't it what does it remind you of the thickness McDonald's milkshake, like a nice fresh I can just bacon. taste raw egg in my mouth now I though. Can't. Maybe because I've nice. had some of the other one first. So we've had a little chat off camera and Lucy's plucked up the courage to try this. I've motivated her. You have. Do you reckon if you just left this to cook, it would turn into a cake? No. Oh. I'm just worried about the texture. That's what I'm thinking. How are you meant to do this without burning yourself? Just lift you the top bit off. You're not going to lift the whole thing up, are you? No, I know, but how are you meant to lift it? It's too hot. Is it? I need support on this side, but this has been under over a candle for ages. Don't set fire to that tissue. Oh, God. You know, you normally blow a coffee to put it down. Look what happens when I blow this one. Ready? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, it stays. Look, and you can, like, tilt it. You're stalling so again. Nice. Is it? It looks just like cake. Really? Oh, but then you get the raw egg aftertaste. It is a bit eggy, you know. Is it? Let me try. Okay, we're going in. It's good. That's really good. Um, it is a is, texture, isn't God, it? That is as thick as. It's not liquid, basically. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it like? That. Hang on. That thickness is like i don't even know it's like it's like okay it's kind of like sauce Thick you can't sauce. describe something as sauce like please describe the texture sauce like think like about the different sauces thick there are butterscotch or something like that it tastes like butterscotch it's almost like there's quite a lot of air in it a bit like meringue but like raw meringue i'm not getting the raw egg taste like lucy did like the aftertaste like you it's fine at first and then your mouth just goes but to raw egg i don't even know what raw egg tastes like no, that's good i prefer the iced one it's a lot less thick and it tastes like a sweet frappe so obviously i'm not like an egg coffee connoisseur so i don't know like how this rates compared to other ones but i'm pretty happy with it and it, it's nicely presented the place is pretty nice so if you're coming to vietnam this place is called cafe nang try it. and you have to try it it's something you have to do here it's like advertised everywhere and it's in whenever you look on like what to do in vietnam it's like on the top of the list just did some instagram polls uh, seeing what you guys thought of the coffee if we liked it or not uh, and if you would actually try it if you're not following us already on instagram we kind of document the days on our stories and obviously um, upload them on photos as well these are our username go and give us a follow on that speaking of instagram We've seen lots of things recently about people um, like unhappy with the algorithm and like talking about uh, Instagram or YouTube even not showing their content to their audience. But it's just kind of making us think like if you're just starting out and you're going to get bogged down by numbers and it's all that you're ever going to think about, then you're not going to, it's not going to work and you're not going to grow and you're not going to enjoy the process. All you should be making videos for is for yourself to enjoy the process and like create, create, create and love what you're doing. It shouldn't be that you're doing it to get certain numbers each day because you're not going to be happy like it, it kills me seeing people saying oh Instagram hasn't shown my photo to everyone please can you go and like it like if your audience want to like your photo because it's a good photo they'll like the photo don't ask people to like the photo I don't know I know it can be frustrating like being a creator if you've seen a decline on your numbers on your likes on your views on YouTube on your Instagram engagement but don't let that dishearten you, just work harder. If your audience like your stuff, they'll be there and they'll like what they want to like and comment what they want to comment and watch what they want to watch. But just don't let that bog you down and stop you trying and working hard on something you enjoy. There's people that say this stuff every single day and you just think if you go back through their stories and their photos, like what is their content? Their content's almost turned into this moan, which is probably hypocritical of me moaning now, but I'm not, I'm not moaning about it. I'm just saying it's a shame that then people get bogged down by it. It should really just bring them up and make them think, oh, what, what can I do differently? Or just, just keep pushing hard at it. And like, don't bring the audience down with it. Like they don't care if your algorithm sucks. Let them enjoy your content because that's why they're following you or that's why they're subscribed to your channel. And the huge thing to remember with this stuff is that YouTube and Instagram are free like we make money from this platform that we don't have to pay to be a part of and that's amazing like that you can use that think about like um if you wanted to make money on radio or something you'd have to pay money to be on that platform but here it's free and you can just upload whatever you want like it's crazy so we should be more 
grateful for that and less moaning. If anyone watching thinks this is aimed at them, it's totally not. It's just like our opinion on it because we just think it's a shame that that's how people's content is going. And really, as creators, do we have a choice? The alternative is to stop, and I don't think many people want to do that. It's black and white. You either create or you don't create. If you enjoy it, do it. If you're not enjoying it and you're getting bogged down by numbers, stop. It's not worth getting upset about every single day. If you're not enjoying it and it's all you're thinking about the numbers, then... Anyway, rent over. Uh, lunchtime? Yes. As we're in a capital city, we need to stock up on some essentials and there's like bigger shops and stuff here, so we need a few bits, but... <sighs> There's only locals in here and nothing has English writing on so it's kind of tricky working out what everything is. Earlier I had some, I got some shampoo out and rubbed it on myself thinking it was moisturiser but it was shampoo. Found these ice cream flavoured Oreos. <gasps> We're thinking Should we get of, some? What if we don't like them? What actual flavour are they? Blueberry, that's not ice cream is it? We're thinking of doing a video where we buy loads of Vietnamese snacks and sweets and things and try them all. So comment below if you want to see that. Yeah, we're doing that video. We've got quite a lot of stuff. It's suddenly three o'clock in the afternoon. The day seems to have just slipped away. Uh, we picked our laundry up, got our shopping, and it's so busy. Like, walking through in the heat with loads of people everywhere, these big bags. It's quite stressful, but we're going to go and find some lunch now, I think. And someone who I talked to on Instagram, who actually is from here, has recommended this place we go for lunch with Ami. So the place we wanted to go to is actually shut. I don't know why it keeps happening today, but we found an alternative. We're still going to get Ami, um, which we wanted to get for lunch to fill us up. And we're going to get it to take away and go and find somewhere like close to the hotel. But we're so hungry now that we're just going to sit here. We've got a fresh orange juice and this Ami coming on the way. And I'm just so hungry now like, for a week. <laughs> We've done a lot of walking today. So much. I, I, I thought that we should have like a pedometer or like an Apple Watch Fitbit thing. Yeah. Start our steps.